longest month ever. <laughs> You're shaking away in the car parks. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> um, Steve, can we get your thoughts first of all on your new signing, Danny Rose, who arrived yesterday? You, you described him as a class act last week. How pleased are you to get him in? <coughs> well, look, he's playing for England in the World Cup qualify in September and playing in the European Cup final a couple of months before that. So we're delighted to, to, to get him. He's um, he is a, he's a top player, the kid. And... Um, is arguably a, a good left back in England. That's why he plays for the national team and play, played for them so well. So, to get somebody that that uh, quality, we're delighted to get him. And I think the big thing of moving up north suited him, which 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 makes a rare change, I have to tell you. But uh, it was good. To, it was good to get him through the door. He spoke to the club yesterday and said the chippies up here are better. <laughs> Well, he, he look, look. He's a northern lad, and he's yeah. and he and he's from Leeds, isn't he? So uh, uh, little things like that are a bit of an advantage to him. But you know, it didn't take much persuading. I think he, I reminded him of the crowd last week against Oxford. You know, and um, and he knows he's walking into a big big football club with a with a huge fan base and somewhere where he can come and enjoy himself hopefully for a, a three four months and. We'll see where that takes us in the summer. It sounded as though he played a part in it as well. He was keen before even any approach was... I think he was keen. Yeah, I mean, look, he was keen. I think, you know, whatever's happened at Tottenham has happened and he needs to have a fresh challenge. And obviously, with the problems that we've had to Dummett and with problems that we've had to Jetra, who was operated on yesterday, then to get a quality player like himself, then uh, that can only help us. And you just touched on it just a moment ago about the summer. Is this a, is this a straight loan or is it an option? It's a, there's a straight loan, to be fair. All the details on top of that, you're going to have to ask somebody else. But um, look, as far as I'm concerned, he's here till the summer. And if he does well and, we, and we've got a possibility to try and make it permanently, then we'll, we'll act in the summer. Yeah, and, and Jetro, who you, who you mentioned a moment ago as well, obviously he impressed you. <laughs> yeah. Who, who'd you... Yet come back into well, we've we've got to wish him. We've got to make sure that he obviously has had his operation and his rehabilitation's good, and and uh, and we'll and we'll have a look and see where we are in the summer with it. You know, he I think he impressed us all. He had a really, he found it difficult to start with, like most people did, but he turned into a very very good player for us. Um, so we'll have a look at it and see where he is. What is your feelings on the, the work you've done in the window as a whole? <coughs> Well, very quietly, we've gone about it in, in the right way, and I think the three players that we've brought in have brought that little bit of quality to the squad. And that's what I was always, always trying to do. You know, whether we'll do anything more today, I doubt. So, um, you know, I'm delighted with what we've done. And there's one or two that we tried for and couldn't quite get. Um, but is that always the case? And I've always said that if we can't get the right one, then we'll wait and keep our powder dry and wait for the summer until obviously the market is far, far easier than it is for all of us, for all of us in this in this crazy this crazy four weeks. I think probably the one question mark that remains is over the, the striking position. Yeah. Are, are you content with what you've got? Yeah, I mean, look, look, I started off the season with what we've got. And I know in two weeks, probably for the, for the Arsenal game, We'll have Andy Carroll, Dwight York and Mutu all available. So in this particular window, I always said that if there's somebody out there that is better than what we've got and can improve us, then we'll try and act. And like everybody, I think everybody, every club is looking for a striker. Mm. And unfortunately, there isn't any to have what you can get. And, um, and I think that's pretty evident for everybody. Do you understand why some of the, the fans are concerned about that? Because between the, the three that you mentioned, there only is one league goal, and both Carroll and Gale have had. A lot I think if you look through a whole front line, you can you can like that level that at, at us all. You know that we haven't scored enough at the top end of the pitch. We understand that, but <clears throat> you know that that's 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 been the case since the beginning of August. Yeah. So you know, as I said to you, I don't think those out there. Somebody would realistically would get that would make us any better. So if I couldn't get what I'm getting and they're not better than what we've got, then what's the point? Yeah. And uh, I think that's key to it all. I think you just said in the radio half an hour ago that you failed for. for oh, I think I told you that. I think I told you that two, three weeks ago. And uh, look, it, you know, I, I hate to talk about other players, but it's somebody who we did inquire about, and it was not possible.
I mean, that I suppose it shows ambition of the club that you're even looking for someone <coughs> like that, like you. We had a bid accepted, which would have nearly got to a transfer window. Uh, we're trans world, we're, we're record transfer eight day, eight days ago, where we had it accepted by the club. And unfortunately, the player wanted to stay where he was. So, you know, we were active. We were really, really active, and it didn't quite happen. So, as I said to you, we'll just have to wait and uh, see what we can do in the summer. Was that for Giroud or for, for someone else? For someone else. Yeah. So I mean that shows that it wasn't just loans that the club were, were looking for. No, 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 no. We were, we were actively, as I said, we got past the club, and had the bid accepted. But unfortunately, unfortunately, um, the player wanted to stay where he was. So you have to accept that. Can you tell us who it was? No, <laughs> I cannot. No, I can't. No, no, I know. It's up to you to find out. <laughs> which is, he's got to work on it now, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but the club broke the transfer record last January. Mm-hmm. Smashed it again in the summer. Yeah. And we were close to it again. Yeah. We were close to it again, but couldn't get it over the line, which is a, which is a big disappointment for us. He was our number one target, and unfortunately, um, we couldn't we could we couldn't do it. What position was he? He was a midfield player. Right, we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> How old is it now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll let the guys move on. So for you, is, is it almost a relief that we're on January thirty first and you can hundred percent focus on the football? <clears throat> do you know for me the whole? The whole thing for the last six weeks has been the most difficult, not just because the transfer window, with the amount of injuries, the, the 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 team and what we've got and what we've had to get and what we've done. I couldn't be more delighted the effort of all of the players, to be fair, to pick up the points that we have done in real difficult circumstances. You know, we're, we're still without eight or nine, but in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, hopefully, um, we'll get a few back. Can you just give us an update on who Newcastle are still missing? Well, the three strikers who are missing for tomorrow, Dwight, Mutu and uh, um, and Gale. So they are the ones, really. I mean, we've got one or two knocks to everybody else. We know that Dummett and, and Jetro out for the rest of the season. So the three new lads is essential that they've come into the squad and um, and they'll have a big part to play over the next three, four months. Just on uh, Danny, we likely to see him make his debut tomorrow? He'd be involved. He'd be involved. I mean... We'll have to wait and see. He walked through the door yesterday, and uh, but he, he'd certainly be involved. How much of a point do you think that he has to prove here at Newcastle? After, uh, I, know well, I don't think he has to make a point on his ability. As I said, he was playing for England in September, playing the World Cup qualifier, and playing the European, playing the European Cup final in June, July, was it? And I thought he was Tottenham's best player that day. But I'm, I suppose I would say that. Look, he's a very, very good player. And he's, the, he's always plays with a little bit of hunger in his belly. I think that's what's made him the player he is. He's a determined individual, and uh, that's good in a player. So we're delighted to get him. Just in terms of today, is it pretty much shuts finished in terms of incomings completely? <coughs> well, you can never write anything. You can never write anything off, but um, I would I would think so. I think I'll be in. I think I'll be in my bed for ten o'clock. Just on the uh, other two arrivals, Bentley and Lazara, how well have they settled in? Yeah, they've had a good week's training, which it always helps. I mean, look, it's always difficult to move to a, a different country, to a different club, and it's enabled us to, for them to train all week, which is good. So they'll be involved tomorrow too. So we're delighted what we've done. I think the three bits of business have been very, very good. They've brought a little bit of certain quality to the team, which was always going to be uh, the mantra if I could. You were pretty disappointed, frustrated, whatever adjective you want to use after that Oxford game. Have you seen a, a major reaction from the players this week? <coughs> Look, I don't have to tell them that we, we didn't play well enough on the day. And um, and to be fair to uh, to Oxford, um, they were they were excellent. They played to their maximum and we got, we got nowhere near where we're capable of. So um, we'll address it again on Tuesday. We'll get ready for Norwich tomorrow, which is a, which is a big game. And, uh, and get our attention focused to that because if we can win it, then that would put, would put us in a really, really strong position. I suppose a similar sort of performance against Norwich tomorrow as of last week, it's not going to get you far. <laughs> Norwich, are a, Norwich are, a, are a good team. They're a good football team. And uh, they played really well in the Championship and haven't changed their style. So um, we know that they're going to be good to watch. They're, they're 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 excellent in the in the forward play, so it'll be a difficult game. We have to make sure that we we play to our maximum again, and uh, 
and get the result. Do you feel like they've been a little bit unlucky at times this season? You mentioned the style of football that they've played. Have surprised a few times. <coughs> well, I've just seen, I've just analysed over the last four, five, six games and watched them all week. So, and they've been very unlucky. You're right. They're a good side, and they were in the championship. And uh, and even though they're bottom of the pile at the minute, they're a good side. And, They've had some good results, so they're capable, like every other team is. Just a final one on, on the table. Um, obviously, the main priority at the start of the season was to stay up again. Yeah. What do you think it's going to take to stay up this season in terms of points? Because it's so competitive <coughs> down there. Well, everybody talks about the 40 points. That's the first thing that everybody talks about. But usually 36, 37. It'll be interesting to look at the, st the statistics. I haven't really studied them just yet. But that magical 40 points one is always something which you aspire to. And that's not just ourselves. I'm sure there's 10, 12, 12 teams, you know, looking looking at that before you have anything. And uh, that's the main aim, of course. Thanks, Steve. Steve, obviously your priority is what goes on here and you're expecting a quiet day. But how much attention will you be paying to the teams around you as to who they might get and how that might affect the rest of the season. I think you can only concentrate on yourself. Of course, you're always going to be. We have the thing rolling like every other club, and and uh, but look, I, I'll speak for all of us. I know how difficult it is, really, really difficult, and um, it's it borders on ludicrous at times. So, the one thing we haven't done is panicked into what we've what we wanted to get. If he had have said two weeks ago, would have thought about bringing in a left back or left wing back, I would have said no. But it became a bit of a priority with the problems we had there. So we've acted in the right way. We'd love to have brought another forward player into the club, but that's not been possible. And um, <coughs> But I've always said it's always about um, bringing a bit of quality in and improving us. And, and that's the only way I'll act. And if I have to keep me powder dry until the summer, then I'll do that. Just another word on injuries. How, how's Shelby doing? Shelby will be probably another two, three weeks. Um, from the initial diagnosis after being injured against Chelsea, then we expected him to be between four and five weeks, so he's going to be about that time scale. And uh, Sam Maxman, he's had another week of training. Yeah. I mean, is, he ha is he looking sharp? Is he looking better? <coughs> well, the more he trains, Alan, and... He's had two unfortunate hamstring injuries, so I think when you've had one or two like he has had over his career with the, the way he plays, then um, the more he trains, the more confident he gets and the more uh, the quicker he gets. So we've seen that little bit of pace this week, which is uh, good to see. And just finally, you talked about you know beating Norwich, getting to 33 points. That We don't know what that magic total will be just yet, but you know that one big step closer. Yeah. At this stage, 30 points, is that whereabouts you thought the team would be? <coughs> the well, I, I hoped to be level on points with Arsenal at 10th, and, uh, and it, would, it was, was something that you would hope for. So, uh, you know, it's been a struggle over the last few weeks, but I think we've only lost one in the last seven games with all the struggles we've had. So, fair play to the team and the, and the squad of players that we've got. You know, we, they're all up the sleeves and, the, and they have a go. And uh, yes, we don't play well at times like we did last week against Oxford, but they're, they're, the way they go about their work, it can only be, you can only say well done to them. I know a big game tomorrow, they'll, they'll get ready for that challenge. Thank you. Steve? Away from transfers, there's been another big story dominated the headlines this week. Have you heard any more about a proposed takeover? I thought you were going to talk about Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> we leave the EU tomorrow. <laughs> <coughs> I, I I don't get involved with all that, you know. It's um, um, it's for other people to worry about and used to, to write and talk about it. I just concentrate on what I can do and what I can affect. It has an unsettling effect on everybody, of course. I wouldn't lie then, but... We're somehow getting used to it. So all I'm concentrating on is tomorrow, the game tomorrow, and certainly the players are as, as, well, as well as myself. I know um, you've said in the past that you don't have a lot of dealings with the owner. You maybe see him you know, quite frequently, but Lee Charlie is your sort of yeah. bridge between. As I think he'll tell me. Here. If there was something to talk about and something to tell me, he'll tell me. And I have a relationship which, with him, which I'm sure he would. At the moment, all he said, there's, there's nothing in it. OK, fine, let's go to work and, and let's see where we are. So you can ask you one more point. Yeah.
outgoings? Can we see anyone potentially lead to this? <coughs> Uh, maybe one or two. I'm not going to give you names just yet, though. Not names all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Maybe one or two. Yeah, but that that is not like you're not expecting any of your your main players. No, there's a bit of work. There's a there's a boy on there's a something with key that might be happening. Um, that's the main one. Yeah. Whether something will break today, I'm not too quite sure. Okay. Fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.